and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Lead Code and Geeks for Geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's problem is stock buy and sell multiple transaction allowed, which is marked as a hard level problem. Okay, and let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. We will be given one prices array of integer type and its length can be from like prices length array length can be from 1 to 10 raised to the power 5 and the elements will be from 0 to 10 raised to the power 4 okay so these much prices will be there okay all right and what we have to do we have to return we have to let's say maximize our profit and we can like buy one stock at one day and buy and i will sell it and i will like take the profit and again i will buy it again i will sell it and i will take the profit so i have to maximize the profit i have to tell how much maximum profit i can make okay all right i think nowadays everyone is investing in stock so it might be a relatable as well and one more thing is uh, stock can be sold if it has been bought probably previously and like i cannot sell it at sell it at 100 only na? i cannot sell it at 100 if i have not bought it at 100 okay first of all i have to buy it and after that i can sell okay all right and another thing is we can buy and sell the stock on the same day as well suppose i bought it at 100 and i sold it at 100 as well okay all right so like it will make sense when i will tell you the approach okay all right now what like uh, procedures can we get to solve this okay what ways are to solve it first one is to try all the approaches first one is to try all the approaches like and all the approaches meaning i will start from 100 okay i will sell it at 120 okay and then after that if i sell it at 180 i will again buy it at 260 and again i will try to sell it and i will try to sell it every time okay i will try to sell it at 310 i will try to sell it at 535 i will try to sell it at 695 as well okay all right and then like a simple recursive solution we can write and we can also let's say use dp as well to store the solutions i have uh, i written one code as well i will let me show you that okay so this is the code which i wrote uh, like i'm trying all the ways i'm selling and buying it at zero index i'm selling it at one index i'm buying it at zero index i'm trying to sell it at to index and go as on and on i'm trying let's for i'm trying all the ways so i'm storing it in dp as well so this is the code which i wrote but uh, it got time limit exceeded because 10 raised to the power 5 is there and 2 dp 2d dp is there so 10 raised to the power 5 into 10 raised to the power 5 which will give us tle in any square so i will not take this solution and now after writing the dp code i got it like it's very very easy this problem is not hard at, at all this problem is not hard at all if you will see this graph if you will see this graph a solution will strike in your mind and the solution is very easy i will be at starting okay starting is zero and will be starting at zero okay i currently i'm ending at a zero as well okay first index i'm buying and first index i'm selling okay all right now i will check 180 first index if it is greater than 100 if it is greater than 100 update my end update my end to first index okay all right after that again i go to 260 oh 260 is even greater than end like the i minus one it is even greater than that so why i will sell it at 180 i will not sell it at 180 i will sell it at 260 okay so end is updated okay again i go to 310 oh i am getting even more profit so why i will sell at 260 i will sell it at 310 okay so update my end as well now end is three okay all right Again, I go to 40. So 40 is less. 40 is less. So I got, oh, 40 is less. So I should sell it at 310. I should sell it at 310. Okay. So 310 and starting was what? Zero. So total profit is what? 210. Okay. All right. Add. Now when I'm selling, when I'm selling, like I'm selling when my, I'm currently at 40, I'm selling it at 310. I minus one. I will update my start and end to I. That is four. Okay. Four. All right. And end is also four. Okay. After that, I got 535 okay yeah great great so i will update my end to 535 oh sorry five okay all right again i got 695 oh great way to sell like i will not sell it at 535 if i am getting more prof more profit next day okay so i will update my end to six okay after that my loop will end and i will come at last again so i am like this is starting this is end so simply sell it at that point and end is what 695 buying it at 40 so total profit is was 655 i guess so 655 and total answer is 865 that's it guys that is it so i think you got the approach you got the approach it's a very beautiful approach let me tell you with one more code one more example here starting is zero okay ending is zero as well ending is zero as well okay 
all right so i go to directly i will go to this 2 i minus y plus 1 i will check should i like 4 i bought it at 4 i'm i got now at 2 price is low price is low so i should not buy at 4 i should not buy at 4 but i bought it so what i will do i will sell it at on the same day as well so bought on 4th and sold it on 4th as well because i think you know ki i it was written earlier ki we can buy and sell on same day okay so buy on 4 and so, sold on 4 as well okay so starting and in both are updated with 1 1 okay all right after that what i go i go to this 2 so there is no need to sell it at this point because it's same and there is no need to sell it at this point as well because it's same now i got four so i will update my end update end is what zero one two three four four okay all right now the whole loop is ended and just return four four is what four and starting is what two so four minus two is two so two will be our profit i hope that's it guys that is it i think you got the approach you now you can write the code by yourself as well all right so please pause the video and try to write the code by yourself okay i hope many of you would be able to write the code but if not let me write the code for it so uh, first of all i will take two variables as you know int starting is equal to zero okay and ending is equal to zero as well okay all right start from i equal to one as you know i plus my i have to check i will do something like prices dot length i plus plus Look, at starting and end, I will be storing the indexes. I will be storing the indexes. Okay. So if prices of i is greater than starting, is greater than what? Is greater than prices of end. Which means I don't need to end it now. I don't need to end it at end. So I will simply update my end. I will simply update my end is equal to new i. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise it means ki I have to sell. I have to sell because now the prices are lower. I can also write equal to here as well. So now I have to sell because prices are lower. So need to sell. I will take one more variable here. Answer is equal to zero. So simply do what? Answer plus is equal to prices of end minus prices of starting. Okay. And update and now update starting and ending as well. So starting is equal to what? Starting is equal to i. And end is equal to i as well okay all right and after coming out of this loop you saw when i was here 695 now i have to make a last cell i have to make a last cell so i will do something like answer plus is equal to uh, simply simply that only just copy paste it here okay all right and return the answer that's it guys i know it was marked as a hard problem but it was not hard at all i know okay all right let me directly submit it meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video as well and share your feedbacks on how i can improve i have got my gig bit and uh, streak is 14 days so yeah keep your streak to earn more and see you all tomorrow till then keep on coding and subscribe the channel as well bye guys bye